So it's been over two years since I last purchased my Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag and I wanted to give you an update on how it's held up over time. As you know, they are known for their attention to detail and their impeccable craftsmanship, as well as their awesome and trusty out of leather. But does the bag actually still live up to the hype? In this video, I'll be sharing my honest opinion on the bag's wear and tear, its durability, and if it's still worth it. So if you're curious about investing in this awesome piece or just simply looking for a review, you'll want to stay tuned to the end to see my thoughts. So first and foremost, this is the light orange color. It's no longer available. It was more of one of those seasonal shades that they come out with from time to time or every season. I think they add new colors to their lineup. But I do have my dust bag. I have the original. This is the old one that is, you know, that, that taupe color right now. They have, I think, the white and green one. But I did get a green insert for it, which I'll link for you below. Remind me if I don't put it because I often forget. But this is what the interior looks like. In case you forgot, I do have a detailed review posted already on this bag in case you want to check it out. And I'll link it below for you. But it has an interior zipper too, which still is quite buttery smooth all the way across. And then a wide interior opening, which I love. I don't see a point in dividing bags this size. Maybe a bigger bag dividers are okay, but this one doesn't. So as far as the bags wear and tear, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I really don't see any. I mean, I do see where some aspects of the leather has softened up. If anything, it feels softer, even though it was soft when I bought it. It feels softer even now since I've broken it and worn it in. And also I will mention that when I store it on the shelf, I do tuck my strap in, my leather strap, I tuck it inside of the bag. And I don't really notice, even after doing that, I don't notice even any creasing. I mean, I see a little small one right here that it creased a little bit, but it's not anything too crazy. As far as the hardware, it's more of like a brushed hardware anyway. So with scratches, you won't be able to tell as much, which is great. So the hardware still looks nice. It was never super shiny to begin with. I mean, it shines, but again, it's brushed gold hardware. So even with the hardware on the front, you know, I don't see anything. And with opening and closing it, you would think I still have the sticker actually on that. So that might have been a reason why it hasn't scratched. But even with that, I don't notice anything. And my interior, y'all know I have my uh, insert. So that's going to protect that from anything. But it still looks to be in tip top condition. I do see one little puncture right here. It might be for my fingernails, who knows? But it looks really good to say I've had it a little over two years. As far as functionality, it has done what I needed to do. Now, I will be honest. I will tell you, I don't wear it too often. I do wear it a good amount, and that's why it's still in my collection. I still really love it. I love the color of it. Um, as far as being able to style it, I feel like you can dress this up or down. You know, you wear casual looks, you can wear it. If you wear more dressier looks, you can wear it. And even though it was a pretty trendy piece a couple of years ago, I feel like it's become more of a classic, you know, because everyone's talking about this whole quiet luxury thing right now, which I kind of am into, but I still like my logos. I don't really care what everybody else is doing. Y'all know this. I do what I want. And the quiet luxury is nice, especially, you know, in some environments, I want to take a quiet luxury bag and this bag fits that. This is the only logo and it's more of a, you know, you know type of thing, you know? And it's pretty functional, like compared to some other bags, I can hold a lot more in this. You can put a card holder, you can fit your phone in there. Even if you have a Pro, a Pro Max, you know, slides in there, no problem. Look at all the spaces left in there. So it holds a lot of stuff. And I just love how squishy, I still to this day love how squishy this is. I just think it's such a nice aspect of the bag. So as mentioned, this bag is pretty versatile. I'll insert some outfits where I've worn this bag. And like I said, you can fit it into any environment and have it really amp up your look or keep it dressed down no matter what you want to do. Also, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos I post like this and other designer luxury videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If I happen to miss a day, I always tend to make it up. So to ensure you don't miss any videos, be sure to subscribe and smash it. What? Smash the subscribe button. Yeah. The current price point of this bag now is $3,500. When I bought this, 
I believe it was right under 2000. So it has doubled in price since I last bought this, which is insane. Do I think it's worth the current price point based on the quality of it, based on the wearability, durability, how much is worn and torn, which it has not. I still think it's worth it, especially when I take into consideration other brands that are, that are charging these prices where I feel the quality isn't there. Um, I still feel like it's worth it. It's in line with the price of other bags. Do I wish it was cheaper? Yes, of course, because the mini Jody even, I feel like it's overpriced for what it is, you know? But as far as the quality, you know, I feel like they have the right to charge that with the quality. Also with Bottega Veneta, they are implementing this warranty, lifetime warranty. Now, that's what new purchases. Two things on, I'm unsure of, if you want to let me know in the comments if you have any insight on this, if you have a bag that you bought before they implemented this policy, will they still honor the lifetime warranty? I've noticed that they give people these gold cards, which basically is the warranty card. If I don't have one of these or one of those, can I still, maybe I need to text my essay too to ask him, can I still utilize the policy if I need to? And also, if I happen to purchase Bottega Veneta from places like Farfetch, from places like Mount Teresa, Luisa Roma, do I still qualify for the warranty? Are they giving these warranty cards? I'm not sure about that, but it's still a great step in the right direction to do something like that because I feel like, I think they're like the only brand that's doing it. Maybe it's a couple of others, but I'm only familiar with Bottega Veneta doing it. There are some brands that need to do that, like where quality is just deteriorated like Chanel you want to charge eleven thousand dollars but can you promise a lifetime warranty you know just something to think about and that's another reason why I feel like thirty five hundred there I mean they have a right to charge that because they're giving you warranty make sure I'm not flashing y'all <laughs> they're giving you warranty they're giving you quality they're giving you longevity as far as their bags now again I still feel like it's a bit much because I mean affordable is kind of like What's affordable? I mean, what's affordable to me might not be affordable to others. So I'm not gonna say it's affordable. I feel like it's reasonable, you know, given what you're paying for. I don't know, but I still feel like it's kind of much, but it is one of those brands. I feel like where the quality is above other designer brands. That's just my opinion. So let me know your thoughts. And if you still, or if you own this bag, if you have it on your wish list. Overall, I'm still in love with this bag and it's definitely held up over time. I love it. It's durability, functionality, and versatility it makes it a great investment bag, in my opinion, for anyone looking to add a pop of color or neutral into their collection because they have several neutrals to choose from. So many different colors. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Happy to answer them, all of that. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos I post and I'll leave another here in case you haven't already seen it. Talk soon.